Hey everybody, I'm Mark, welcome to this video. So we're now going to be reacting to the album Spectre by Suicide. For those watching on YouTube, all my Suicide reactions are right here, including her first album reaction. And so for those on Patreon, this will be the complete uncut reaction. And those on YouTube, this will be edited down for copyright reasons. And this is just the style that I do um, album reactions here on YouTube. So let's get to this album. We're starting out with track one. Let's go. Oh. I'm not sure how I feel about this one yet. It's very intense, I think. Oh, growls. Okay, I'm just gonna pause a second to just gather my thoughts because we were just right in here and a lot was happening. It's giving me the vibe of like, um, if it was a video game and there's like a battle scene or something or like an intense moment where you, you know, like the um, turn by turn based fighting games where there's a bunch of enemies, it kind of gives me that, creates that kind of atmosphere in my mind. Okay, next is track two, which is template, which I have reacted to. I reacted to the, the music video and the EP and this, so this will be the third time to hear this. Mm. Yeah, this sounds a lot better now. I'm getting more familiar with the chorus. But yeah, I love this part. Right, yeah. <laughs> Hang on a second. I'm gonna add a heart to that. So it shows that some songs you do have to listen to a few times to get familiar to it. Because when I first watched it, I wasn't as sure, because I'm not really into like the minor sounding songs, but I really love those background vocals, and I've got more familiar with the chorus as well to sing along. So that gets a heart. Next is track three, which is a track I don't think I've heard now. Um, I don't think I've heard any of the songs now, looking at the rest of the album, but let's get to it, track three. There's like a higher background vocal in the back there. Okay, we changed up and fast paced, but still sounds serious. It almost sounded like we changed key, but it also didn't sound like we did. It sounded like the tone changed in her voice. I'm really liking how it's going down and up and down and up and down and up with the melody. Transition. Because there's a little bit more power in her tone and then it kind of strips back. Yeah. And the music's switched up. That was awesome. This could be my favorite song by Suicide so far. Like of everything I've listened to. That's got like a repeat. For me, that seems like something I would want to repeat a few times and listen to it a few times in a row right after it. Like I want to listen to it again, like right now. And then learn the melody and sing along and hum along with that because that sounds so good. So that gets a heart. That was really cool. I hope we get some more sounds like that because I, I like the more um, happier, catchy melodies than like the intense ones. But um, let's listen. Next is track four. Is this chill? It's like a chill vibe. I think I like this. I think the melody choices so far in a lot of her songs, and especially this one, it's very complicated. Like this one wouldn't take would take a while to learn. The do 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 like going up and down like that so much, like that's probably so difficult to get that right. The timing of it. Hot. It's enjoyable to listen to. But that was just really enjoyable to listen to. It's kind of like a like when you're listening to chill out music, just to feel casual and relaxed. It sounds like that, but with a little bit more 
sass to it. <laughs> if that makes sense. Next is track five, True Girl Show. So far I didn't expect these next few songs to sound like this because of the first two songs, the way those were. I thought we were gonna stay in that sound, but it's changed. It's changed now. This sounds like a girl group, like that. Vocal runs? Have I noticed runs before? I see what I say. Nice. Oh, this sounds like you're going into like an evil carnival. The music. Shoot, nah, I could picture that being a song as if it was like a, a girl group performing. Because all the sounds and vocals sound like there was more people in there than just one. Um, next is track six. Growl on the street. I listen to that. I'm gonna put heart next to that. Um, yeah, it sounds like while track three is my favorite, while it's not like my favorite favorite so far that I've listened to, it's I can hear the potential of it being my favorite to sing. Like if I was to choose a song that I would want to sing along, I feel it's that. It just has all the elements to make that. Like just a little bit more simple and focusing a little bit more on the melody. There's a little bit more repetition in this. So the melody is not too overcomplicated to learn and just like, just very casual to sing along to. So I can see it being that. Next is track seven. It's like a rainy day sound. I'm gonna sit back and listen. That just sounds like disappointment, heartbroken, and that sounds like keep marching on because it's like a mar marching drum, you know, like keep keep going, keep going, because the beat carried on after she had stopped. I'm gonna put heart next to it. Next is track eight, seven days. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Did, did, did it. Ha. Feel like a performance song. Oh. Next is track nine. Oh, I think it's raining or something. I like that. Sax. Nice choice of, of how we're singing this song. Just to be, wait, let's see if I can explain it. That kind of uh, transition in between going ta and then coming back softer. Um, I like that. It makes me really like it a lot. That, da -da -da -da. I feel emotional. <laughs> Like I've, I've only just been introduced to this artist for a few days and I don't know why, but listening to like this, um, just very talented and just this, there's a sense of love for music and just so, just like music is all around, just hear it all, like so much inspiration, so many sounds and um, you know, to get this opportunity to release music and to have all these fans and, and you guys and everybody that's like really loving this and appreciating it all around. Um, I just feel it and it's like, that's not something everyone gets to experience. But we're gonna continue listening to the song, but that, I, I just feel the sense of feeling very proud and, and that's awesome. You know, to be happy for the people and to enjoy this together. But I really like the song too. But let's keep going. 
I think because the sounds give me that sense of being grateful and really enjoying something, and that's probably what made me think of that. Better play that. I love that. I love that so much. <laughs> it's getting like teary eyed. And it's a happy song. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm trying to compose myself. Uh, why am I getting emotional? Oh my gosh. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Uh, I have no idea. Hang on a second. I have no idea why. This is probably my favorite. I have no idea why. I don't know if it relates anything to my own personal things because I don't know. <sighs> That's the first time that this has ever happened. Like I've got upset in other reactions to other sounds because I'm very sensitive. <laughs> um, especially like really tragic songs and stuff, but never to like happy sounding music. Okay. Oh, we have two tracks left. Next is track 10. Okay, <laughs> and this is definitely probably gonna help me um, compose myself. I was like the endings of the songs. It's very good, like, live band sound. Lastly, is track 11 called Newton. Newton is the name of a town that's near here in New Jersey. Um, let's hear how this album's gonna end. I believe it's over already. Just like the first album ends very upbeat. Oh, that was kind of an abrupt ending. <laughs> right. I'm going to pace myself after this because I feel like I've gone through things very quickly. Um, but yeah, we're now through the second album. So now, let's go over the songs that I liked. I'd have to recap myself because I think it was three that I really liked. Yeah. Okay, so in order of this, so the six hearts next to these songs, just like the first album. So I liked six on that one and six here, but there's maybe one or two in this one that I was tempted to put a heart next to, but I feel like I need to listen to it a little bit more. Um, so going through with the songs I like the most, starting with the ones I like the most first, working down, is definitely nine. I felt that in my core. I really enjoyed the melodies as well. Like all the melodies were catchy. I really enjoyed every part of it. And then it it made me like really feel a lot of emotions and I really enjoyed it as a, just the song in general as well. And also how it made me feel. So nine, Damn Good Day is my favorite. And it might be my most favorite song by Suze completely. And then next is track three. And then um, track seven, track four, track six, and then track two, because that's taking a little bit of time for that to grow. So it makes sense that that's going to be lower down because it's it made its way up a little bit <laughs> into, into the, um, so I think that's all of them. I believe this is over though. I feel like I want it to hang out more a little bit longer. But um, exciting. Today is the day that this came out. 
I'm sure that because obviously template and probably some other other songs because other people in comments have mentioned the wee wee woo. So I don't know how many of these songs are new to to you guys that this is the first time you get to hear some of these songs or whether you've heard them all already. But um, let me know what you think, what your favorite songs are, and yeah, what you thought of this album. So that was my review. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. So leave your comments below. Let me know what else you want me to check out. And I'll see you on the next videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.